Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the integration by part. And I have uh, six questions involving the log function. And those functions, we, we have to use the integration by part to integrate it. Let's look at the first question. Integrate log x. So to integrate log x, uh, we need to set which one to be my uh, our u and which one to be the p, uh, dv. So to set the u and the dv, we're going to refer to this uh, log pack. Log LO stands for the log, P stands for polynomial, and E stands for the exponential, and T stands for trigger. So here, my function containing log X. So uh, because a log uh, comes first in this uh, log pack, in the word log pack, log comes first. So it means that the priority to, let the U, uh, to set the U has to be uh, log X. U has to be log X. And then the rest, other than the log, other, other than the log x, is going to be my dv. So my dv here will become my dx. Then for the u, we are going to differentiate it to get your du dx. Du dx is equals to 1 over x by differentiating the log x. And the dv, you are going to integrate it. Integrate dv, you get v. And integrate dx, you have x. Then after that, I'm going to substitute into the formula of integration by part. That is a uv minus integrate v du. This is the formula. So please uh, remember. Here I need to find u and the v. u is the log x. And the v is x. I'm going to put the x in front of it. Because the log x multiplied by x. Some may misunderstanding that it's a log x squared. But it's not. Alright. It's a x multiplied by log x. Integrate v du, so I need the du. Here you need to get your du. du is a 1 over x dx. Alright, so substitute the v as the x and the du will be 1 over x dx. Okay, after you have this, you, can, you might see that the x can be cancelled off. And later on, simplify it first. You have, a, you have to integrate 1 dx now. So to integrate the dx, you got your x. And then finally, you need to plus constant c because this is an indefinite integral. For the question b, again, I will set my u as a log because according to the log pack, uh, log comes first compared to other function. So we have to set the u as a log and then the db as a dx. Once you have set this, you can find your du dx. So how do you get your du dx? We are going to use a formula to uh, differentiate log gx. Our formula is g prime x over gx. What does it mean by the g prime x? Means that we need to differentiate this function. We get 2. And then divided by the gx, that will be 2x minus 3. And uh, du now is become 2 over 2x minus 3 dx. And for the dv, we're going to integrate it. We have v equals to x. Once you have all this, you can start to uh, substitute into the formula. That will be uv minus integrate v du. So now, the substitute, find out where is a u and a v. Just put in x log 2x minus 3 minus v du, integrate v du. Your v will be the x and the du will be 2 over 2x minus 3 dx. You might see that the second term having the uh, 2x over 2x minus 3, meaning that you need to integrate this function, 2x over 2x minus 3. To integrate this function, I'm going to use the substitution method. Okay, so to use substitution method, we can refer to the B as PD. This is a guide for you to, uh, to let you know where uh, if I use substitution method, I need to let u equals to which which uh, which part of the function. So uh, according to the BSPD, b stands for the bracket, meaning that if you have anything in the bracket and the power of n is very high power, or it might be a negative integer, or this n might be fraction, then you might let the u equals to whatever inside this bracket. If you have a as s means uh, stand for this third. If you have anything in the in the cert, you can let the u become uh, any something inside the cert. And the p stands for the power. For the p, uh, is a more to refer to the question like this. 
if you have to integrate e power of 1 over t over t square dt, uh, this function, you will let this uh, u equals to 1 over t. And uh, this stands for the denominator. If you are, don't have the bracket, if in your function you don't have the bracket, you don't have the third power, then your u might be your denominator. Just look at this function. Uh, this function, we have a 2x over 2x minus 3. We don't have the uh, bracket, we don't have the third, we don't have the power. Then probably our u has to be denominator. That will be my 2x minus 3. All right. So if uh, we, uh, according, we uh, refer to this uh, technique, we set our u to be 2x minus 3, and then get your du dx. You got 2, meaning that dx here later on is going to be replaced by du over 2. So I circle it up. This has to be du over 2 later on. And the 2x here, how do I substitute in terms of u? I can uh, take this uh, 2x, make the 2x into subject, and I have a 2x equals to u plus 3 means that the 2x here now, it can be replaced by u plus 3. Okay, this is replaced by uh, the u over 2. Okay, then this is replaced by the u. So now you can see that everything, it, it can be it can be in terms of u. Now we are going to... Sub so the first term you're going to copy down in terms of x, because it's already done. And the second term now, here I will use substitution. Substitute this as a u plus 3, and the down here will become the u, and the dx replaced by du over 2. The over 2, again, I pull out to become 1 over 2 outside of the integral. And then how to integrate that? You will be going to um, separate it into the two separate terms. You got a u divided by u, you get 1 plus 3 over u, du. Then we start to integrate. 1 over 2, just copy down. Integrate 1 with respect to u, you have u. Integrate 3 over u, you get a 3 log u. And we can plus a constant c because you have done the integration. Then the next step is to be substitute back the u in terms of x. The u, just now you have let the u equals to 2x minus 3. So now you just uh, replace back the u as a 2x minus 3. Plus a constant c. Okay. Then next, just uh, need to simplify by multiply 1 over 2 inside. If you just leave your answer like that, it's, uh, it's okay. But then here I'm going to re uh, expand it. I have my x. And then a plus 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2 log, 2x minus 3, plus constant c. So this is the answer. For the next question, again, according to the log back, all right, I have my uh, log x multiplied by 1 over x squared. So according to the log back, the log comes first. We always let our u to become the log x. And the dv here. I have to let it become uh, x power of negative 2 dx because uh, 1 over x squared is equivalent to x power of negative 2. Then uh, get your du dx, you have a 1 over x. Find your du, that will be 1 over x dx. And for the dv, we're going to integrate it. Integrate dv, you have v. Integrate x power of negative 2, you get a negative 1 over negative 1. And if you simplify, you will have a negative 1 over x. So here, uh, substitute into formula, into the integration by part formula. That will be uv minus integrate v du. Get your u and v over here. You have a log x, negative log x over x. Yeah, uh, u multiplied by v. All right? And minus integrate v du, your v will be a negative 1 over x. And du is a 1 over x dx. Okay, so the first term just copy down because it already done the integration. And the second term now we need to simplify it. We can take out a negative, we get a positive. Integrate 1 over x squared, or we might say integrate x power of negative 2. So integrate again the x power of negative 2, the same as what we have done just now. We have a 
x power of negative 1 my over negative 1 plus a constant c. Finally, what we have is a negative log x over x. Simplify the second term, you get a negative 1 over x plus constant c. For the question D, again, set your u, u as a log x, and the dv will be the x power of 4 dx. All right, so we set the u equals to log x, and the rest of the, uh, other than the log x, including the x power of 4 and dx will be our dv. Differentiate your du uh, u with respect to s, you have 1 over x, and get your du, du 1 is 1 over s dx. For the dv, we're going to integrate it. You get v equals to x power of 5 over 5. And now we can substitute into the formula, uh, uv minus integrate v du. Okay, so let's plug in your u and the v inside, you have x power of 5 log x over 5. That is a uv, yeah? Integrate v du, the v will be x power of 5 over 5. du is a 1 over x dx. So obviously, this will be x power of 4. Once we cancel off with the x down here, then uh, we going to integrate the second term. Uh, you might take out the 1 over 5 first, and then you integrate x power of 4. Okay. Then we have a x power of 5 log x minus 1 over 5. Integrate x power of 4, you have a x power of 5 over 5 plus constant c. Then uh, the simplify it, you get x power of 5 over 25 plus constant c. Uh, sorry, here I miss out, I overlooked the over 5. Eh? For the first term, everything is over 5. Okay? For this question, first I'm going to apply the loss of log first. I got log x plus uh, log ex. Integrate with respect to x. Yeah, I'm applying this, uh, this loss. Log ab equals to log a plus log b. So here I have to, after I have applied, then I simplify the second term. What can I see is this uh, second term is actually, uh, I, after I bring the x down here to the front, I have my log e, which is equivalent to 1. So basically, we, we just need to integrate log x plus x. Alright, then uh, if you find, okay, it's uh, difficult for you, you might uh, separate it into the two integral, two separate integrals. It's the same, uh, okay, you can separate like this. And uh, just take out the log x, if you want to integrate the log x with respect to x. You set your u, set your dv, do it at the side and then later on we put in the answer all right set your u as a log x and the dv as a dx for the u you're going to differentiate you get a 1 over x and for the dv if you're going to integrate you get x and find your du du is 1 over x dx so our integration of the log x dx is going to be uv minus integrate v du and what is the uv? uv is um, x log x. And integrate v du means that we are taking the x multiplied by 1 over x. We integrate with respect to x. After that, simplify uh, the, I mean the integrate second, simplify this first. You just cancel off the x, you get 1. Integrate 1 with respect to x, you got x. So the answer for integrating this uh, log x is x log x minus x plus c. Now you just put in your answer into the uh, main, uh, main part of our solution. We have uh, x log x minus x. All right. The c later on I'm going to put at the end. Now I just need to integrate the uh, x now. Integrate x. We have uh, x squared over 2. And at the end of our answer, we just put a constant c over there. All right. For the question f, the same thing as just now. I'm going to apply the loss of log first. The x is put it here. And then the square root of x is actually can be written as a x power of 1 over 2. So follow the loss of log. I can bring the 1 over 2 to the front. I got to integrate 1 over 2 x log x. So now I can take out the 1 over 2 if you want. If you 
if you want to stay with the 1 over 2, is you go ahead, no problem. Okay, we can uh, just uh, take the u as a log x, and the dv will be the 1 over 2x. Okay, you might do so. du dx equals to 1 over x. Here, to find your du, du equals to 1 over x dx. And to, in, to get your, oh sorry, this one dx, to get your v, you're going to integrate the dv. You got v and uh, you have a 1 over 2, x squared over 2. To simplify it, you have x squared over 4. Alright, this is your v. Then you put into the formula, you get uv minus integrate v du. Put into the, the formula, that will be uv, your u will be um, log x. And the v will be x squared over 4. So just put them together. Alright, I will always write my uh, polynomial in front of log. Alright, integrate v. v will be the x squared over 4. Multiply by du. du will be the 1 over x dx. Then further simplify the second term. Then only you integrate. Simplify or you might take out the 1 over 4 and the uh, x square, you cancel off with the x, you have an x. Alright, so, so, so. simplify, you have an x dx. Then after that, so first term, again you copy down first. And the uh, second term, I'm going to integrate the x. Copy down the 1 over 4, then this will be x square over 2 plus a constant c. Alright. Then uh, simplify the second term. You have a x squared over 8 plus c. That's the answer. Okay, so the end of this, uh, my video. Okay, uh, then for the next video, I'm going to talk about the integration by part also, but it will be the function. The example will be in terms of uh, trigo function. Alright, thank you for watching.